And a very warm welcome back. It is your Field and Breakfast Show Express on SABC3. Now, while the health focus of September was largely around heart health awareness, it is less known that the month is also Oral Health Awareness Month in South Africa. So for our last weekly health segment for the month, today we are looking at a good oral health routine and also the latest innovations in dental treatments with aesthetic dentist Dr. Zach Scabort. Good to have you back. How are you? Dr. Lech, it's nice to be here. Excellent. Now, let's start off with just the basics of it all. Now, I don't know if you find that to be the truth in your practice as well, but do, pre do people still brush their teeth too hard? It's the tooth and nothing but the tooth. <laughs> <laughs> I think that uh, people have a habit and it's difficult to break that habit. People brush too hard and that um, basically causes two things to happen. Damages the hard tissue, which is the cementum and the enamel, or the outer layer of the teeth. That leads to concavities and hmm. we as dentists call it class 5 lesions, so that you have to get filled. But it also damages the soft tissue, which is the gum surrounding the teeth. Yeah. And if you expose the, the teeth, then the teeth become sensitive. Wow. So, and so, so all of this damage can be done even with the enamel being the hardest substance in your yes, entire body? I mean, we all believe that enamel is the hardest tissue, but we should be very careful by not brushing too hard. So how then do you make sure that you are not brushing too hard? What, what do you compare it to? How do you make sure of that? I think it's difficult to compare it to anything. It's certainly not a gym workout session, <laughs> uh, but we should be careful not to brush too hard. Yeah. And circular motions uh, is advisable. And talk to me about flossing and the importance of that, because some people you know, don't really know how important it is as part of your dental routine. Well, I always tell my patients, only brush and floss the teeth that you want to keep. <laughs> That's a great so, piece of advice. <laughs> uh, recently, there's been an article saying flossing is not very important, but in my opinion, it's always a good investment in your health. When we brush, we remove the visible bacteria, but when we floss, we remove the interdental bacteria that goes and sits there, um, leading to bone destruction. So mm -hmm. flossing is very important. It's a, it's a big investment in your oral health. Absolutely, and also we are inviting you to give us a call on 083-913-3728 to ask any of your questions that you, have, that you have with regards to dental and oral health. So now we've been brushing, and you're brushing correctly, and you're flossing because you want to keep those teeth as well. Um, what about using something like a mouth, mouth rinse or a mouthwash? Is that important too? Well, if you can afford it, I would definitely recommend a mouth rinse. There's even now mouth rinses available that sustain the whiteness of your teeth. So it also has aesthetic benefits, seeing that I'm an aesthetic dentist. Yes. But obviously, if you can't afford a mouth rinse, there's always salt that you can use and baking soda. Uh, and that can really help to even furthermore remove the invisible bacteria uh, of your mouth. Okay, give me the salt and the baking soda option. How would you use these at home in order to maintain well, your oral health? <laughs> you can use lukewarm, lukewarm water okay. and add some baking soda or salt How to much? the water. How much? Uh, one teaspoon should be fine. To a glass? Uh, to, no, to a, a quarter of a glass. A quarter of a glass. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you just rinse with that for a minute and you goggle and you're healthy. Oh my goodness, I can't <laughs> imagine that salt, warm, salty water in my mouth. <laughs> um, but also I wanted to ask something about these mouthwashes that not only sustain, like you were saying, the whiteness of your teeth, but say that they will make your teeth white. So inadvertently, they bleach your teeth, right? Are those good for you? Well, they don't, to be quite honest with you, they're more of a maintenance than anything else. Mm -hmm. uh, they won't really lift the teeth to a Hollywood smile. Uh, but they can, they can help to, to sustain the whiteness and yeah. they can help to, uh, to add one or two shades to the teeth, uh, but they're not going to do the full Monty. Okay, all right. We're going to keep Dr. Skabort here with us as we continue our chat on oral health this morning. And also, our lines are open, so give us a call. Come on, 083-913-3728 if you have any questions to ask. In fact, in our next little segment, we're going to talk about 3D printing and dentistry. What? I didn't even know they could be possibly interlinked. But yeah, apparently they are. But right now, let's go over to the kitchen.